These physical facts make us come to an indisputable conclusion. Everything we see, touch, hear, and perceive is matter. The world, or the universe, is only electrical signals in our brain. For instance, we see a bird in the external world. In reality, this bird is not in the external world, but in our brain. The light particles reflecting from the bird reach our eye, and there they are converted into electrical signals. These signals are transmitted by neurons to the center of vision in the brain. The bird we see is, in fact, the electric signals in our brain. If the sight nerves traveling to the brain were disconnected, the image of the bird would suddenly disappear. In the same manner, the bird sounds we hear are also in our brain. If the nerve traveling from the ear to the brain was disconnected, there would be no sound left. Put simply, the bird, the shape of which we see and the sound of which we hear, is nothing but the brain's interpretation of electrical signals. Another point to be considered here is the sense of distance. For example, the distance between you and this screen is nothing but a feeling of space formed in your brain. Also, objects that seem to be very distant in one person's view are actually images clustered at one spot in the brain. For instance, someone who watches the stars in the sky assumes that they are millions of light years away from him. Yet the stars are right inside himself and the center of vision of his brain. While you watch this film, you are, in truth, not inside the room you assume yourself to be in. On the contrary, the room is inside you. Your seeing your body makes you think that you are inside of it. However, you must remember that your body, too, is an image formed inside your brain. So far, we have been speaking repeatedly of an external world and a world of perceptions formed in our brain, the latter of which is what we see. However, since we can never actually reach the external world, how can we be sure that such a world really exists? Definitely we cannot. The only reality we cope with is the world of perceptions we live within our minds.